Hello, this is Salem Burke, and this is in regards to spirit communication. Um, now, what you're seeing here are created talisman by me, and the backs of the created talisman. Uh, I, I will go into detail as to what that all means in papers to come. Right now, what additionally the secondary modifiers can be added to the back inside of the shape, as you will shortly see here. And I believe that is the Greek god uh, Bleigon. Um, glyph evolved. And uh, there it's evolved and colored. So you can see how they start to begin to look a little bit like pictures. Like this one coming up looks like a man somehow. Okay, no, I'm kidding about that. There was an artist. Uh, the black and whites. That y all of the black and whites that you're going to see repeating here. Uh, there they are right there. That's Robert Steele. And he's an excellent, excellent artist. Um, he's not very prolific, but he's uh, one hell of an artist. And then, of course, uh, you know William Hammock. His artwork is all over my website. You can find it on SalemBurke.com, who is just awesome. And he was a wonderful person to work with. He's the one who turned me into a demon. Um, what I, what now, I, these are the point that I want to make no. here. And uh, now this really has a solid point. Okay, uh, you see the comparison between the instructions I received from the spiritual world and how, from the ages past, magicians have created talisman. As far as we know, um, we don't know what they were for, or you know exactly. They could be to wreak havoc. It's probably very, very unlikely, but then again, magicians have very weird and strange minds. They do weird things, uh, so who knows? And then the gods that they communicate with often put them up to certain things, just because that's how uh, gods work. They work through their, their uh, people that they communicate with. Uh, my position, as far as when I communicate with Satan and the other gods that rule the universe... I, my instructions are solid. I'm never to veer from exactly what they tell me to do. So if I say something that they told me is true, they sincerely told me that this is true. Is it true or not? That's, uh, that depends on how much you trust me. Um, and this is the point of the video. I am encouraging everybody to see the similarities here and to get in touch with the spirit world. The best way to do that is uh, probably a Ouija board, because no, not everybody knows what a pendulum is. Most people don't know what a pendulum is. Everybody knows what a Ouija board is. Um, and the Ouija board has been completely and totally turned into some kind of like a loaded gun. Like playing Russian roulette. How many of these pastors or preachers or parishioners have ever used one? I would bet none. Um, there is no reason that nobody should not be in touch with the spirit world on their own. Then there are no questions. And if information conflicts with someone else, they have their personal uh, methods, the people that communicate with the spirit world. I think these here are uh, magnetic. They look very runic, don't they? Um, but what I'm the point I'm getting at is you can verify other information. The spirit world will tell you what these are for or what they can currently be used for. Uh, and there is complete peace of mind. Um, God spoke to me, uh, which would be Satan, but God spoke to me would take on a completely new meaning. And you wouldn't have to hear me say, uh, you know, sound as if I'm the only one who can... Any, anybody can do it. Anybody. And... This is how I won the lottery. This is the secret. I was in communication with the spirit world, and the spirit world uh, was keeping tabs for me on the, the, draw, the drawing. Um, they gave me precise numbers, uh, which were drawn here and there, but the whole act of the lottery winning was a magical act, and it was calculated. Uh, and I was so confident in it that that is why I went ahead and told people uh, other people might be like, well, you know, you'd be humiliated if it didn't work. I didn't really have that doubt.
at all, and I still wouldn't. Um, now, I will say this before I go any further, there are, are exceptions, uh, although rare, there are certain exceptions as to who can use the lottery. Some people, sh I'm sorry, there are no exceptions as to who can win the lottery. It's legitimate. It's not a scam, because if it were, I wouldn't have won. So, and everybody, you're not wasting your money. If you're a magician, you have a very good chance if you're a good one. Um, my take is most magicians don't communicate with the spirit world. They just take no, stuff. The, the exception on is on the spirit communication. Do not use a Ouija board if your house is haunted, basically. Uh, this would be an elemental, uh, a thought form which has built up a considerable amount of power. And if it's powerful enough to move... Sh I don't want to be crass. Move shit around your room or uh, manifest uh, physically, visually, it would not be a good idea to use a Ouija board. A negative negativities, you'll still get answers, different. but they'll probably be muffled. Um, everybody should be in touch with the spirit world, especially if you're a magician. The other exception would be... If uh, if you're involved with some kind of magical fight with some other magician or magicians or unknown magicians or something's wrong, but at, in in that case you would already be a magician, so you wouldn't probably have very little to worry about. Um, as I was saying, speaking to God and God spoke to me takes on a whole new meaning. Literally, you can talk to your guardian demon, uh, the per the. Demon. Everybody has a different theory as to how words... Okay, this is coming up as to us, 80 leagues, and that shouldn't be there. Sorry, that's not a talisman. That's as to us, sigil. Anyways, um, speaking to God and God speaking back takes on a whole new meaning. In Prayer becomes an option. Um, a good one will be drawn inevitably to prayer, but there is nothing like getting answers directly from your gods. When you pray, you receive an answer. It's a personal and direct and absolute communication. Um, elementals build up slowly. Uh, and this is something that gods kind of initiate, this is my opinion, magicians through. Uh, at the beginning, there should be no elemental problems, especially if you are dedicated as a Satanist. There really shouldn't be problems with that. Um, uh, Satan will clear him away. Other than that, there there's tiny risks, especially that that uh, a thought form called will start building up and building up power, and then eventually your answers won't be so concrete. But in receiving information, uh, everybody should make an effort to get in contact with the spirit world. The churches. Do not want people to know this or do this for a reason. One thinks of using the a Ouija board is the exorcist, which is ridiculous. It's absolutely ludicrous. It's it's absurd. But that horrific image is stuck in people's minds. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if I'm and I'm, this is not paranoid. So powerful a spirit communication that those who know about it would go to any length to prevent people from showing it and getting people to not think about it. And when Hollywood comes out, one can easily pay somebody, uh, I don't know, one who has billions, possibly the Vatican, who knows. Heh. <laughs> just um, make the most horrific movie that you can think of, just something horrible. I know it did come from a William Peter Blatty's book, which was an excellent author, a wonderful book, as a writer, my God. Awesome. Um, but there are ways. Um... Then again, as I was saying, it could just be that the guy go with it. Breaking free is is not easy, uh, especially when you've been conditioned. But uh, one who does it can have a guarantee, if they stand strong, that they will be protected and they will come out on top. 